Okay, so I had a commission for this scene only in 3D and uh, so I got some reference and it looks like this uh, was the, the reference that he liked. So a little bit different background but you know the same kind of thing. And so then I made it in Blender and here is the scene in Blender. Uh, it's rendering in Eevee in real time. And I was pretty happy with how responsive it is. So there's a cube map here that does all the reflections for the face and stuff. And that is being rendered, let's see, where is my... And so anyway, so that is the uh, the cube map. Shouldn't have to do anything with it. it. Once it's rendered out, it should be fine. But I've got it set to auto-bake. If you don't want to keep re-baking it, you can just uncheck that and it'll, it won't bake it anymore. Uh, the head is animated with this rig right here. There's a little, it's a real simple rig control tab to go into pose mode. You can rotate the head all around. You can see the neck. The neck is uh, is all rigged there, so that should all work. You can move the head like that, however you like. You probably want to change the eyes if he's awake or whatever, but uh, so that can all be rigged like that. The, let's see, let's undo all this so it goes back to how it was. Um, the arms are rigged with these rigs here. There are more bones inside, but I've got them just set to the, the default stuff. So again, control tab to go into pose mode. Um, the hands are all IK rigged, so you can move it all around and it, it moves properly. Fingers are all rigged with these. So uh, scale them to bend the fingers this way. And then, of course, rotate to rotate the fingers around. And again, those are all, um, all the joints are, are rigged in. So you can rotate these and all the little, little bellow joints there should all work. Um, what else? Oh, yeah. Okay, so hat. Uh, control tab to get out of it again. Hat is all rigged up. Um, it's a little bit small for him, but on the table it looks about the right size. So I, I left it like that. But you can always you know scale it up and down. That's easy. Uh, what else might you want to animate? Oh, the lights. Okay, so these lights back here, let's see if I can select one. There we go. Are um, over here in the shader panel. Down here in emission, color, ramp, factor, multiply, value. Here we go. So this, I think, yeah. So, so the value right here, this this value over here in the corner, and let's see if I can get it a little bit bigger. Uh, this value here, set up to 12 right now. The higher you put it, the fewer the lights there will be. So if you pull this all the way down, the lights will all be full on, and they'll be green apparently. Um, there we go. So there they're all on. You jack this up and they, they start going out. So you could have like a, an animation where, you know, the lights slowly fade off and then slowly fade back on again just by animating this one value. And, uh, and so that's kind of fun. Let's see, what was it right about? Well, we can have a few more on. We can have maybe like that. Uh, let's see, what else? The lighting out here is done with a volume. Um, and so this volume, you can set the, the, the density of it if you don't like quite how, how intense that is. And then there's an area light under here that's doing the underlighting. You, again, you can change the intensity of that if you want, or the color or whatever. Oh, and the, um, the lights or the windows here. There you got to select one. There we go. Uh, let's just go over to the shading panel. There we go. The lights are um, in, out the windows are colored with this color here. So you can change the color of this. I had them kind of more purple before, but you know, you can change it to yellow, green, or whatever. And then um, the the other light colors are down here in this color ramp, so black is off, and that's where, that's what the, the windows turn into if you multiply it too much. And then I've got one set to kind of a purple, and one set to a blue, and one set to a yellowish, and that all gets multiplied into the colors so that they... Um, so they get slightly different color, you know, in the different windows. Uh, let's see. And then everything else can be animated, of course. It's all, you know, in Blender. So this can be, you know, you could move this around. 
Uh, the, oh, the textures for these. So these are this computer screen texture. Is uh, it's just an image going in here. So this computer screen image, and you could make this into an, uh, an animated image or something. Uh, same with the face. You select the face. It's just robotface.png, and that's pointing external to the file. So you're going to need the external, those external files in the same folder as uh, as your as your Blender file, in order for it to load those in. So, but then you can always change them and update them to something else, and it'll update automatically because it'll load it in when you load the Blender file. So those are all animatable, and and like you can see here, there's a there's a um, checker texture that does the scan lines and it multiplies it in and so you can change all this this mapping if you want you can change the the scale here the number of checkers oh yeah here we go the scale of the checker texture so you can you know have more or less you could even have it uh let's see location y yeah you could have it like scan across or whatever that could be kind of fun like animate the scanning so the scan lines you know, go across the screen same with this. Uh, it doesn't make sense for an LCD screen to have scan lines, but that's how I've got it. You can always turn it off if you want. So that's the basics of it. Um, I was really happy with how these turned out, that all the buttons and stuff on the front here are actually inset a little bit. Uh, you can hardly notice in the final render, but I was really happy with how that all, that all came out. And that's all with a... Um, uh, sh a shrink wrap thing, so you can you know move this around. And yeah, it edits the cutouts too. Uh, so, and that should all, you shouldn't have to fiddle with, you know, position and stuff because it's shrink wrapping onto the, the rest of the thing. So all the cutouts will work properly, um, all the cutouts and the colors and everything. And then this is being uh, booleaned in with the cutouts too. So that should never fall outside the zone. So anyway, it should all work elegantly. Oops, except for that. I didn't mirror this properly. Oh, I'm glad I'm doing this video. I'm finding all these errors. There we go. Oh yeah, fix that. Good. Well, I'll uh, I'll have to save this and except for I messed these all up. Uh, well, I'll I'll fix it later. We'll fix it in post or whatever. Um. So this is. Oh yeah. So I guess the the last thing is the different layers. Layer one is just the robot. Layer two is all the construction geometry. You should never have to look at that. And layer three is the background scene and everything. Um, so you just want one and three. Two you can turn on. I've got it turned off in render, so you're not going to see it in the render one way or the other. Um, but that's that's how it works. So I hope you enjoy this model. It was very fun to create. I know I went way over budget on time, but uh, I didn't charge you for it because I was having fun. So, uh, so yeah, I'm glad this turned out. Hope you enjoy. <laughs>